Hi, it's Mike again with Ugtastic. I'm sitting down today with Mandy Walls, who's a technical evangelist with OpsCode, uh, the chef people, if you've ever done any kind of uh, building servers or managing using the chef utility. Well, it's OpsCode. Uh, hi, Mandy. Thanks for taking the time to uh, sit down uh, with me today. Uh, kind of just want to ask you, you know, straight off, what exactly is a technical evangelist and and how do you work with uh, the technical community? Uh, do you run conferences or or do you work with with people at conferences? Do you, do you speak or how does that how does that work? What is that? So originally, our, our technical evangelist positions were. Um, folks who basically help our customers and our would-be customers like understand uh, what Chef does, what it is, um, how it can help you um, manage all of your systems. Over time and as OpsCode has grown, we're actually now um, the OpsCode's professional services team. So mm -hmm. uh, technically I'm really a consultant and I get to uh, travel to our customers as they need help. We mm -hmm. do training. Um, I go to conferences representing ops code. So sometimes like in a booth or at a table passing out literature, uh, sometimes giving talks uh, about our product. Uh, we run our own conference. Um, so that was the other part of your question. Uh, we are, uh, ops code does run a, a user conference. We okay. call it Chef Conf. And uh, that's actually this year's taking place in April. And um, so we put that together as a forum for our bigger customers who, um, well, for anybody really, but as a, as a place for our folks to share things they've learned about uh, Chef and how they're running their infrastructures and, and uh, things like that. Is, right. Um, it's because been pretty Chef, interesting. Yeah. Chef is, is open source, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's 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 an open source uh, platform for managing servers and people who are managing. Well, it's it's Linux. It's all Linux. If I or actually, it... uh, we we support Windows now. Oh, really? Um, so yeah, you can have Windows clients uh, for different uh, versions of Windows 2000 server, mm -hmm. 2003 and 8 and Windows 7, and okay. uh, we also have support for like commercial Unixes as well. Okay. So, so yeah. you, the the app. Uh, I, I just blanked out on the name of the conference that you mentioned. The, the uh, ChefConf. ChefConf. Um, yep. So at ChefConf, uh, is it all ops code speakers, or do you bring in nope. other? Okay. Uh, no, it's all. It's a, we have a, an open call for papers actually. Mm -hmm. So anyone who uh, uses Chef for uh, whatever they do, uh, they can Submit send it. us a. Submit to our CFP and uh, come and talk about what they're what they're doing. Maybe tools they've developed around Chef. Um, some folks at uh, Etsy, in particular, write a lot of tools uh, to do what they do. So they had a talk last year about some of their tools. Um, some of our uh, other larger customers that are doing sort of interesting things in spaces where open source software is not generally found, so like in financial services and things like that. Right. Um, those folks talk. Last year we had a talk from Fidelity. Um, we had uh, Cycle Computing. They do um, like bioinformatics, science-y sort of things. Yeah. Um, so yeah, all, so anybody who does anything with Chef. Okay, absolutely. so do you, are you involved in, in organizing or doing the reviews for proposals or... Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's uh, a number of folks uh, at OpsCode involved. Um, a lot of us do the reviews, and then there's a, a group of us that um, work on, you know, planning the, uh, deciding what kind of other activities to have. You know, uh, are there things we want to focus on uh, as far as, you know, topics that the community is interested in that maybe we don't have, nobody put in the CFP for. Um, so, yeah, we have a small committee of, of folks that that I'm on that are that do the planning, and then there's a everybody who is interested really right. can read this the 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 papers and review them as they get submitted. So we get an idea of what everybody thinks is interesting. As we all talk to different customers, so um, knowing what the entire community is interested in learning about is hard for one person to keep track of. Yeah, yeah, it's it's hard for one person to be the gatekeeper on that. Absolutely. Uh, a, a couple of weeks ago, we had a uh, kind of an interesting conversation. Ash Dryden, um, 
has been trying to gather people together who are interested in increasing uh, diversity in, in the technical community through conferences and user groups and, and places like that. And you were one of the people that I met on that call. Um, what, what, what made you interested in, in participating in that conversation? And uh, how does that relate to what you're, the work you're doing with, with uh, ChefConf? Um, so my interest in that goes back a number of years. Um, for one thing, I've always worked in operations. And when, when we think about diversity in the technical community at large, um, some areas, some niches have better diversity than others. Mm -hmm. So a couple of times I've been to, to conferences related to maybe database um, technologies or uh, programming languages and the diversity is a lot more broad there than it is when coming from operations. So um, it was when I started my career, it was years before I actually met another woman systems mm -hmm. administrator. So um, I kind of got in, interested in that um, from that perspective. Like it, there there really isn't that much diversity in operations. It's it's still very male dominated, which is fine. You know, that's just how things happen. But um, there are women out there doing mm -hmm. it, and um, so. Well, yeah, operations is is a is a unique place in that it 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 has it may be male dominated, but it's not necessarily even perceived as being a um, a positive. It it's always got that uh, awful stereotype of the neckbeard hacker, yes. uh, you know, the Unix, you know, the neck, you know, the bearded Unix old dude who just has been doing this stuff for a million years. Absolutely. Um, but even then, it's 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 more diverse. I, I look at our ops team here at Groupon, and it, 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 there's males, females, young, old, but it, it's it, it it is tends to be to be female. I mean, excuse me, to be male. Um, yes. So yeah. Sorry, I just drew a blank here on what my point was. <laughs> but you were, you were saying about the the that it, it tends to not be a very diverse group, and you're yeah. looking at ways that. It, has there been anything you've done that, uh, like trying to hire in more women or reaching out to, uh, like women's groups? I, you know, there's some of these, uh, 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 uh women who code, uh, black girls code, things like that. But is there anything like that for op operations? Not really. I mean, years ago, um, when I was first getting started, so the Linux chicks were around. Did I actually? Mm -hmm picked my my moniker before I even knew they existed oh. um, so I go by by Linux chick but um, they are an organization that was sort of formed to fo to help uh, women learn Linux in particular mm -hmm. um, sisters is another group um, that is sort of uh, technology agnostic in that there's uh, women from all different um, portions of the technology spectrum there including academics which is a little interesting um, is that With sisters the, as in like S Y S? Yeah. Okay, absolutely. so like system sisters. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's uh, supported by the Anita Borg Institute, and that's been a really good group as well. Mm -hmm. But as far as I know, I don't, I, I haven't come across any like, um, sort of the those the groups like that are coming up now, like the women who code and girl develop it and things like that that are focused mm -hmm. on operations and. And part of that maybe is that it's it's hard to teach operations, and and we as a as a portion of the the industry are struggling with that right now. Like, how do we distill the things we know in a productive way mm -hmm. to help the next generation of operations people? Um, and and maybe when we get some of that figured out, like, it's it's one thing you know you've got like thirty five forty years of, of pedagogy for you know, teaching software development. And, and even though the methods have slightly changed and the languages are a little bit different, you're still building, you have notable building blocks in, in how you teach software engineering. Um, on the operation side, like, what do you start with? Like, okay, here's how you log into a system, but then you can go an infinite number of directions. Yeah. And we haven't really put that together yet. So there's some cool stuff like op school and some other things coming up that, um, I'm really watching to see if there's going to be something there that we could use uh, in a similar vein as outreach, as you know, education for the next generation, um, putting something together that's uh, a, a 
in a comfortable environment for for girls and women who are maybe intimidated by technology um, or don't really know enough about it to even make a decision. Um, so yeah, I've been very interested in following a lot of that stuff. Um, the girls who code stuff and and all those uh, Rails Bridge, Pi Ladies, um, all those groups are are really doing some really great things. Yeah. So you you so to wrap up, you mentioned that there was two groups that aren't directly related to ops, but there's the Linux chicks mm -hmm. that people can check out, and the sisters, as in system, yep. uh, SYS sisters. Uh, and you said those are focused on learning Linux and, and, and the fundamentals of, of getting involved and starting there. Yeah, the Linux chicks uh, uh, definitely are, are Linux specific. Sisters is just basically for as long as you stay on technology topic mm -hmm. in some way, um, we there's good threads about, you know, interviewing and work-life balance and all kinds of stuff for technologists. It's really good. Oh, cool. Right, well, thank you for taking the time to sit down with me today. Absolutely. Thanks for inviting me.